I'm so excited about our garden, Squeaks. And thanks to the seed calendar we made with our friend Juniper, we know the perfect time to put each of these seeds into the ground so that they can grow into plants. Soon, we'll have some great vegetable seed. You're right, Squeaks. It is surprising that these teeny tiny seeds turn into plants big enough for us to eat. Even though they're small, seeds are jam-packed with different parts that help a plant grow. And I know a way that we can take a closer look at the inside of a seed to understand how. That's right, Squeaks. These are beans. How are beans going to help us learn about seeds? Well, Believe it or not, beans are seeds. And a lot of beans are really big, which makes it easy to look at them to understand how a seed works. That's because all seeds have the same basic parts, from a big bean to a tiny radish seed. If you look closely at each part's shape or structure, you can find clues about how it helps the seed grow into a plant. Let's open up one of these beans and take a closer look inside. I soaked the beans in water overnight to make them softer so it would be easier to pull them apart. This outer part that I'm peeling off is called the seed coat. <laughs> well, Kind of like a coat you would wear outside, except that it doesn't really keep the seed warm. What do you know about the outside of a bean, Squeaks? <coughs> yeah, they do taste delicious when they're cooked, but what about before you cook them? How do they feel? <coughs> yes, beans are really hard and tough. If I hadn't soaked the seed first, I would have had a hard time peeling it off. The seed coat is so thick and tough because its job or function is to surround the seed and keep it safe until it's time for the seed to grow into a plant. This thick coat keeps the seed safe from many things. It holds water inside the seed so it won't dry out, and it helps protect the seed from being dropped or squished. Okay, we've covered the seed coat, but there are still two more parts to a seed. <clears throat> Do you see that, Squeaks? That part of the seed is called the embryo. And it looks like a tiny plant because it is. It's a baby plant. Like all babies, its job is to grow. And it's already started deep inside the seed. It's just waiting for the right conditions to sprout. Now, do you see all of this other stuff inside the seed? This part of the seed is called the endosperm. And it's what the baby plant eats. Yes. The endosperm's job is to feed the baby plant until it's big enough to make food for itself. So it's a bunch of food, like a cupboard full of snacks, just for the plant. Hey there. Hi, Juniper. I heard you guys talking about growing seeds, and I couldn't help it. I just had to crawl on over. That's right, Juniper. We're learning about how seeds become plants. We were just talking about how the seed has three parts. The seed coat, the embryo, and... The endosperm. Yes, my favorite part of the seed, jam-packed full of food for the baby plant. We were hoping you could tell us what happens after a seed begins to grow, since you can crawl down in the soil and see it for yourself. You bet I can. Okay, let's dive in. So here's a bean, just like the ones you have right now. You can see it's just starting to grow a root which is breaking through the seed coat. That shows our embryo is getting bigger. This process, where the baby plant starts to sprout out of its seed, is called germination. As it grows, the baby plant sends its roots down into the soil, which helps it get water. It also sends a shoot above the dirt. That's this part growing upwards. After it breaks through the top of the soil, the plant will grow leaves, to collect sunlight to make its own food. It won't need the seed to feed it anymore. And the plant grows bigger and bigger until one day it'll be able to make seeds of its own to start the whole cycle over again. Wow, Juniper. Thanks so much for showing us how a seed grows. Anytime, Mr. Brown. I'm so glad you're as excited about gardening as I am. We definitely are. Thanks for your help. You're right, Squeaks. It would be really cool to be able to see germination in action. Too bad we can't crawl down into the ground like you can, Juniper. Oh, you don't need to go underground to see a seed germinating. All you need is a sealed plastic bag and a damp paper towel. Take some of your beans and put a few of them in a baggie on the damp paper towel. That will give them water and somewhere to grow. Then we'll place them in a sunny window so that they have sunlight, and we can come by and check on them whenever we want. Without soil in the way, after a few days, you can watch as each seed sprouts or germinates into a plant. And you out there watching can ask your grown-ups about doing this activity at home. Okay, let's get going. 
This will be a great way to watch plants up close even as our garden is growing outside. Thanks for joining us today on SciShow Kids. If you want to learn more about the world with me, Squeaks, and all of our friends, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.